redfish, kind of misunderstood. This fish can live 20, 30 years, maybe 40. That fish was just a couple years old. Down here fishing, marshes, Louisiana, off the mouth of the Mississippi River. Behind me, it's about 40% of the coastal wetlands in the lower 48 states. And that's where those redfish come from. They're moving to flat areas, shallow areas in the marsh where the water's warm, cover for them to avoid predation and abundant food resources. That's what they need to grow. What's interesting about the fish is that the habitat is so important. It's shallow water. The water temperature's about 91 degrees today, and whew, they take it a little better than I do, as a matter of fact. They can take the heat, but they can't take the cold. At 40 degrees, life ends very abruptly. And in the early 90s, that's what happened, particularly on the Texas Gulf Coast. Millions of adult redfish lost. Texas responded with a hatchery program. Not everybody necessarily, though, supports stocking. The Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission, pretty uh, hesitant, pretty reserved on stocking. They're more interested in seeing what nature will do. But what's in balance here, whether they're stocked fish, whether they're natural fish, is the habitat. Behind me, 40% of the coastal wetlands in the continental United States. That's what grows redfish, and we're losing that habitat. 50 acres a day for these Louisiana wetlands. We know we're losing it. There are some efforts underway to help restore and rebuild these habitats. If we've got the habitat, we've got the fish. And what's good for the fish is good for fishing.